in the Discord. And you're you're entering Wombat Wednesdays. You could go Oats two, but you also might go one and two. And yeah, I one just think that's bog. magical. Yeah, that is magical. So, so we're gonna get into like we're getting into grand finals right here. Yeah, we're starting grand finals on Smashville. Like I said, the MDVA Classic. Hyperflame loves the stage. Oh, okay. Tether tether is an option out of air dodge. <laughs> Great grab right there. Grabbing right in Rob's face. Maybe not a wise choice for most people, but Hyperflame built different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, catches him with a dash attack on the high uh, tether recovery. Oh, my, I don't think he touched the ground. Did oh, he? I thought that was going to be a spike. Oh, yeah. No, that was his last boost. But. Yeah. Playing like very patient all around. Gets a jab reset, but doesn't get anything else off of it. That side B is going to send him at such an awkward angle, forced to recover low because of the jab oh, out the stage. I also like that very tactful um, dip underneath Rob's gyromite, and he was still able to make a, a somewhat clean recovery. Great air dodge there too. Yeah, it was all around just super solid. So Ripple is trying to get there. I love oh, how we're yes. complimenting the guy who's losing. Like, everything he's doing is so great. We are we are the most biased commentators who ever <laughs> HFR, lived. HFR, dude. I mean, it's really because... easy to like look at Lucas <laughs> and say about all the nice things he's doing. Oh, well, to that's be fair, Ripple is Ripple is like playing this like really well overall in general. Like, it's I think we're just hype hyping up the fact that. Hyper was responding to all the insane things that Ripple was doing. So it's kind of like a, a compliment to both of them in that regard. And it was Ripple that ended up taking the stock in the end of it. Yeah. Oh, that was the thing a about cool, defensive play, great man. gyro placement. That was an amazing gyro placement. Mm -hmm. Hyper still, oh, well, Hyper just recovered actually. <laughs> Buff position for so long. Yeah. Yeah, the thing about like uh, defensive play too is when you do really well, there's not much to say about it. Right? I mean, it's definitely Hyperflame is being the aggressor in this set. It's Ripple kind of just like throwing out these projectiles and waiting for Hyperflame to come in and do something. Just to get a clip. Because again, like we said earlier, Hyper or Lucas is one of those characters where they're so, like, they're, they have a huge pressure game, right? But a lot of characters capitalize off the one mistake that Lucas makes. And then you can kind of like take that like to the bank. Yeah, which is a nice part. Mm -hmm. Ooh, big back airs. Oh, gets the. Wow. Oh, it was greedy for that combo. It still got the the, the kill. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure he clipped him with magnet off stage. Oh, that that snake yeah, that's a, didn't that's, get him. That's the stock. Just that's barely okay. losing the stock off the side. Oh, so you, that's okay. Mm -hmm. You got enough X stock to play with. This is a clean two stock still one. It's Hyperflame starting off oh the pressure. Oh my god, Hyperflame! Yeah. Bro, chill! Beaver. Bro, chill! Beaververse Magnet always looks sick. Tries to actually catch him there to set up it's for the a... back air, and what? actually finds it. Oh my god! Okay, it's a free okay. net play that local, nice man. It's nice Please because collect. that fair like, started from underneath of the platform, so it avoided the whole situation altogether, and actually Ripple- Wow, has Ripple! Amazing, Holy amazing shit! That was- there. Ripple doing good. Mm -hmm. That was really Ripple important, because I feel like that- I feel like that like cut off all of like Hyper's momentum that he was building like throughout that whole combo. Like, I mean, that's kind of what you want if you're Ripple, right? Any chance to like, reset a player like Hyperflame's momentum is like going to be just beneficial for you. Oh, and it's like closing out the, the first game of Grand Finals. Yeah. Going to Hyperflame. You see, like, I, I, I think it's like this is like a more of a vague concept, at least to like newer comers or mid level players, but momentum is like a big thing. And like, you could be behind, but if like someone else, like you could even visually watch it. Like you have two stocks, the opponent has one. But if the guy that has one stock has more momentum, I I probably think that the other guy's gonna win, yeah. despite him having one stock. Because the rule you I always have is, like, I try not to immediately reset games uh, if I think my opponent is like playing super momentum based and just kind of popping off. Oh my god, Ooh. he just dunked him. And the momentum is still in Hyper Flame's favor. Flavor. You really wanted to make yeah. sure that card really do have that flavor there. dunked it in with yeah. the split. Oh, okay. That's going to be an easy uh, ledge hold there at 60. It was like around 60 something percent. So that's a nice early stock. Oh, I'm going to look for the, a cheeky little dare there. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, wow. That was. Yeah, wow. Really nice I did not know the up, air, the up tilt could do that. Yeah. 
Yeah, up tilt's got some nice hitboxes on the side on that first, like, hitbox. I think Gyro is like invisible being thrown in the air on the stage. At least at this part of the map, where it's like all space. That empty hop was everything. Was everything. If he just like, I don't know, rushed it and wave dash back or forward, he would have never gotten that situation. He would never have continued that, uh, that tech chase. Oh, that red bull. He is trying his best. Yeah. There's been like a lot of bait and punish for both of them. You just see a lot of them dash back, go in, dash back, go in. Oh wow, that looks so. Well, how weird. did he grab ledge though? What a weird angle. Yeah, that I know was. that was. That was a crazy weird angle. I actually didn't know you could really grab it like that. I don't even know how he did it. That was witchcraft right there. Oh, oh my I god. I guess if you slam, if you slam into the wall, right, it just stops you entirely. Are we going to see a switch from Ripple? I don't think so. I don't think so either. He's got two sets. I don't think the problem. Is, I don't think the problem is character. Hyperflame, kind of good player. Not sure if you've heard of him. The thing is, I know he's a DDD main. I'm not sure no, if he's, he's a main. Split. He hasn't played oh, DDD yeah. much anymore. Okay. Oh, he's going in. Unbiased commentary by Wombat. Uh, yeah. right. <laughs> he shines. He scored. Oh, that's not almost sold it out. Yeah, it's not a score. He just stopped me. Oh my gosh. Oh, popping up. That combo popping going. Up. Even extended it with the down yeah. smash. Ooh. He didn't Ripple have a jump right now. Ripple needed I think he's dying around like 60%. Angle, but he's, he's, he can easily get a KO confirm. At this point, he can even grab. Yeah, because the fair is going to want this. He could even fair. All right, so are we going to see the kick switch or are we just going to get... No, nah, actually, oh, we DDD. are to the Ganon. DDD. The Ganon. No, he's Ripple, not. He's not going to play DDD. Absolute buffoonatic. DDD. Buffoonatic. Especially, he's especially <laughs> not going to play DDD into Lucas of all characters. Buffoonatic. Do we got Hyrule Warriors Ganon? I think. Yeah, this skin's sick, but if you zoom into it, it'll ruin your day. The texture's Why? awful. Oh, uh, the texture's bad. Yeah. All right, I'll I'll just pretend you didn't tell me that. Sorry, hey, it's actually sick. Don't look into it though. I think it's sick. I doubt it's the actual model ripped from Hyrule Warriors. No, like, I think so. That game is actually in HD, unlike this one. Hyper well, showing like, some of the most. Hyper is showing some of the most patient aggression I've ever seen. Like, you'll like combo the shit out of you, then wait like half a second for you to flinch and or press a button, and then you're like, okay, back to the friggin' reset. Like, also, two for flinching. <laughs> like, right? Like, a note that Hyperflame zeroed to death him on that first stock. Yeah, he did. It's nasty. So, this is looking. What, what can Ganondorf I... even do? It's a oh my random uh... fair. See, see, We're up there. You, how... you see how Ripple's tag is oh more right now? Oh. oh my god, relax. This is a free number. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ganondorf. So, uh. Oh, what? Okay. He didn't have a jump. <laughs> he thought he, he had a jump. He double jump canceled and he That's thought fine. he had a jump. By the time he went to, it was too late. That's fine. So, you could. Um... I'm actually curious if Rob is just just a better character into this match. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Ganon like... is not a better character in any match. But it's like <laughs> one of the characters that if you can land the things. I can't think of a single matchup really where if I played Ganondorf and Rob, where I'd be like, man, this 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 calls for Ganondorf right now. Hey, I mean. Ganondorf kind of nice now. I don't know if you've seen the character. Have you seen Up Tilt lately? On that play, he's like a top 15 character. Oh, yeah, 100%. Oh, my oh God! Oh, my God! Alex, he's please! Just boy. Oh, oh, no, no, no. He's a man. He's bald. Yeah, yeah. About he's to say, he's a just a bald man. He's Caillou. <laughs> yeah, he's Caillou. He's you know what, Caillou stupid Oh, at. my. Yep, he, he has deed right there. Yep, it's so, like, Dude. Shout out to Hyperflame already getting five kills. True. It's Lucas Bussin. Uh, Hyperflame, relax, please. <laughs> he kinda is so, popping off. So you see you see how Ripple has the moto tag? Yeah. It's not a shout out, it's a cry for help. It's a moto, <laughs> please. Uh and that's well, that it. was 